Ladies and gentlemen, fight number three is a junior K1 contest in the atom weight division, scheduled for three one minute rounds. And your referee at the bell is Mr. Andy Nichols. Introducing, first of all, fighting out of the red corner and hailing from Panda MMA and Spirit Dojo with a record of two victories and two defeats, it's Bobby Rogerson. So Bobby Rogerson has got a lot of uh, fans in the crowd. And introducing his opponent standing across the cage, fighting out of the blue corner and hailing from Temple Martial Arts with a record of two victories and no defeat, Mason Hunt. So Mason Hunt, 2-0. I'm excited about this. You know, K1 is uh, it's my passion, so I always like it when we've got the striking going on. Yeah, I think Little touch of gloves and the straight out. We share that same passion, Dave. And that's it. Immediately, these kids are having it. That's it. Still in the pocket. Beautiful knee there. Trading combinations. Nice knee to the body there from yeah. Mason. Yeah, Mason looks like he's uh, very schooled. He knows what he wants to do. Heavy low kick. Quite rangy as well. That front kick's quite long. That's it. Steps in with that long knee. Nice combination. So there's no clinching in K1. Same strike. Beautiful take from Mason. Heavy low kick from Bobby. Nice catching yeah, return, nice catch from Bobby. return from Bobby. Yeah. That's it. Bobby's walking onto those knees a little That's bit. That's it. Just needs to maybe uh, set Change. the distance a little bit more and uh, work behind a jab. Oh. Yeah, just a little warning there from the referee to yeah, watch the head kick. It was, to be fair, it was a very nice head kick. It's <laughs> just not allowed in juniors. Unfortunately. But, um, you know, this is why, again, kicks drift up high, and this is why the safety gear's there. The head guard protects it just a little bit. There was no real power in it, so it's not it's not one that warrants having a point taken off. He'll just get a bit of a telling off from his corner team and the referees. Yeah, it didn't seem like it phased Bobby too much, but... Like you said, Dave, <laughs> quite a, a clean connection. There. Yeah, yeah, it was a uh, it was a beautiful kick to be fair. Just unfortunately not allowed at juniors, and probably wouldn't have scored. Although I would have thought that the majority of the output was done on Mason's behalf. So yeah, Mason's got a very nice uh, flowy kick style. You know, he, he goes with the right leg, then the left leg, then follows up with the right knee. Um, he, he just needs to keep on that and teeps to, to create the distance. He's doing very well. Bobby just needs to be a little bit more aggressive with the hands and maybe exit on a low kick. Um, but again, it's a clash of styles. It's it's and that's what makes K1 beautiful. Indeed. So we're about to head into round number two now. Nice Bobby check Rogerson, there. Nice return from Mason there. Big knee, but a low kick on the end there for Bobby. That's it. Mason's just going to get a warning. That's twice he's clinched up now, and he's he's using a double-handed tie clinch, which is not allowed in K1. So we resume action. Starts off with a front kick, low kick now. But nice, nice return yeah, that's from much Bobby. better from Bobby. But there you go, Mason again. He uh, uses them long range limbs that he's got on his legs and his kicks. Just needs to be careful on that clinching he likes to hold. Nice well, this is a great swing fight. To the side there and a low kick from Bobby. Guys are staying in the pocket now. Neither guy taking a back step. That's it. Bobby, Bobby's connecting very well with his hands. He is doing he, very well, yeah. particularly finishing on the low That's kick. That's it, yeah. Oh. Just changes, sometimes changes the, the rhythm, but Mason there, very aware of just getting that warning. A few body shots landed there for Bobby on the end. With that clinch before the referee step up, stepped them apart, but another clinch here. Ref steps in a little bit. They resume action. That's it. Mason just keeping that distance with that tee, but that was a very equal round there. Much yeah. more of an even round than the That's first it. round. Bobby did very well there with his hands and exit on the low kick. Mason just stuck to what he was doing very well, you know, losing, using his range on his kicks. And then when Bobby did actually get in, throwing the knee straight up the centre. Yeah, he's got a nice tee paw, otherwise known as a front kick. Does Mason. Using it effectively as well to That's initiate it. He, he knows when to throw it. He's not really yeah. missing with it. 
He's mm. not, no. He's using it to maintain distance for yeah. the most part. So having yeah. some success with that. And a, a good teep is like a good jab. You know, if you, if you use it and you know how to use it effectively, it can be a, a game changer in the fight. Absolutely. But Bobby's doing everything right. He just... Uh, He's pushing forward with the heavy hands. He's catching the kicks and retaining straight away in the next sitting on a heavy low kick. Beautiful work from both sides. Well, here we go, guys. Getting ready for the final round. I don't want to be a judge in this one so far. No. Bobby Rogerson. Mason Hunt. Mason comes flying in there with a bit of a jumping front kick and a knee to follow. Nice catch, though, from Bobby. Returns Beautiful now, heavy kick nice from Mason. Kick return there for Bobby. Yeah, Mason's just stepping forward with them knees. Bobby's doing the cleaner work with the hands for sure, but Mason's just got that distance with his legs. from the boys separated by the referee I say neither, of the, neither of the boys want to take a back step they're both here to fight they are indeed. it's great to see another jumping front kick here from Mason Hunt that's it Bobby both guys trying to finish the fight strong right back in the pocket not backing up an inch nice great fight a great Jones. fight great fight closely contested fight as well Brilliant fight So we're all just waiting for the judges to uh, tally up the score charts, you know, see who won that fight. I don't want to be a judge in this one because that was a very closely contested fight. Uh, both fighters having a good output. Um, both happy and smiling at the end of it as well, which is what it's about, you know, it's just experience for these guys. If you're watching on the app, Leapfrog Fight TV, make sure you subscribe to them. They've got over 100 shows streaming this year alone so uh you know if you are a fight fan and you like to watch things ladies and check them gentlemen out. after three rounds of action we go to the judges at cage side all three judges with identical scorecards of 30 to 27 in favor of your winner as the result of a unanimous decision in the blue corner, so Mason Hunt. And give it up for uh, his opponent, fights, um, Bobby Rogerson. Excellent work right there, and there's great output from both fighters. Uh, looking forward to watching their careers grow.